Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Stay Stace. I'm happy that you're here today. In this video, I'm going to start playing with some of the Timu dies that I got in my last haul. So I've pulled out a few that I want to work on today. I'm going to work with this cute little envelope die right here. It also came with this piece right here, which is really cute just for putting maybe like a little label or helping you to decorate your envelope. And then it also came with all of these cute words. Um, we have thanks, we have enjoy, and we have just a note. Just a note is super, super cute. And then it even came with this cute little heart here. So I've already cut out a couple of these envelopes. They are super, super cute. And let me go ahead on and measure these. And the final envelope when all put together is about three and a quarter inches by about two inches. A little bit over two inches, but not quite two and one eighth inches. Okay. So I went ahead on and cut out a few of these envelopes here. I really like it because it has the stitching on these as well. Um, when I cut them out, I did double up the paper and then ran them through the Big Shot so that I could cut out more faster. The paper pad that I'm using for this is this brand new paper pad that I just got in from Recollections. This was at Michael's, you guys, for only $5. 16 designs in here, three sheets each. It's 48 sheets of paper here. I bought six paper pads. They're all different. <laughs> and here's a little flip through of some of the paper. I decided that I wanted to just select one of the paper pads that I purchased, and I'm going to try to bash it. So I don't know how many projects I'll be able to get out of this, how many things I'll be able to do with this but today is going to mark my first day of trying to bash this paper pad okay so those are the envelopes that I cut out and then I also got this nested scallop frame stitched frame border die as well and I have mostly been using just this frame because it fits well on an A2 size card but today I also noticed that this fits perfectly right here on this envelope so so I went ahead on and I cut out this smaller one. Okay, let me back up a little bit. My plan today is to create an envelope flip book, a mini envelope flip book. This is going to be really small, small. So I think that I'm going to use this die to help me decorate some of my envelopes. And I'm thinking that I can also squeeze a shaker or two out of some of these envelopes. So that is why I also grabbed this die. So all of the links will be in the description box if you're interested in any of these dies. Also, check out my last haul video, and it'll show all of the things that I hauled in this round. Okay, so let's get started. I think I'm going to go ahead on and cut out another piece of this in a foam, and let's get started on the shaker. And then I'll start assembling these envelopes and punching some holes in it so we can get started on our mini album. Be right back.
Okay guys, here is the final walkthrough. Cute little shaker I went ahead on and added some jump rings on the side. These are the jump rings that I use, the larger size. The shaker turned out super, super cute. So let me know in the comments, what would you put in some of these envelopes? Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!